Okay, so this video um, is on properties of power series and working with power series. So first of all, um, we can do a lot of things with power series that converge. Uh, we can add and subtract power series. Uh, so if we have two power series with different coefficients, but they converge on the same interval, um, then we can add them. And basically addition is kind of like we're adding polynomials. Uh, if I have a uh, power series that's equal to a function in some interval, I can, and that doesn't necessarily have to be centered at zero, so I could also um, just as easily uh, replace this by, you know, well, if, let's just leave it for this purpose here. <coughs> um, <coughs> I can multiply. Uh, by a power of x and you can just put that multiply that power of x inside to the series um, similarly you can do a function of a function and uh, we'll look at a couple of examples on that uh, and we can differentiate and integrate power series so suppose we have a power series with some coefficients and again that converge on an interval and then um, one we know that f is going to be a continuous function and two, we can differentiate it. And again, we treat it basically like we're treating a um, polynomial, just a really big one. And we can also integrate it. And so um, the derivative is equal, the derivative of my power series is equal to the derivative of the function um, on the interior of the interval. So if the endpoints are included for the interval of convergence, they're not included necessarily for the derivative and similarly for the integral. So um, there's one example already worked out for you, but e, let's suppose that you knew that e to the x was the summation k going from zero to infinity, x to k over k factorial, and that converges everywhere. And so I wanna compute x squared times e to the x. So like I said, right, we could take the x squared and multiply it into the power series. Right, so we could write this as summation k going from zero to infinity, x to x squared times x to the k over k factorial, which is x to the k plus two over k factorial, and e to the x squared, right? So I take my formula and I replace x by x squared, and I get x squared to the k or x to the two k over k factorial. Uh, um, okay, so let's do a couple of other examples now. Let's use the fact that the natural log of one minus x is this series, negative summation k going from one to infinity, x to the k over k, and that's the interval of convergence, and, uh, x greater than or equal to negative one less than one. So the first thing we'd, I'd like to do is to find a power of series representation of the natural log of one minus x squared squared. So the first thing we want to do is remember that special little property with powers. You remember that special property with powers. Right, what do you do with a power? Right, it can go into multiplication. Not that we haven't been using that all semester. So we could write this as two natural log of one minus x squared. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our power series representation here, but we're gonna replace, um, we're gonna replace x by x squared. So I'm gonna get negative two times the summation k going from one to infinity, x to the two k over k. <clears throat> okay, so. Sorry, writing this as one whole, one solution, we get x to the 2k over k. Computer's being a bit of a grumposis this morning. Okay, now I wanna find the power series representation of one over one minus x. So the thing we can notice is that the derivative of natural log of one minus x is 
negative one over one minus X. Right, that's by the chain rule. Y'all remember that little chain rule. Okay. Um, and so that tells me that one over one minus X is gonna be negative the derivative of natural log of one minus X. Okay, let's do this. So one over one minus X is negative the derivative. Now we'll plug in our series minus summation K going from one to infinity X to the K over K. And so notice that my negatives are gonna very nicely cancel out for me. And I can move my derivative to the inside. Well, I don't know if we showed, did I show this up here? Um, now, let me see, where did I go? No, I guess I didn't show it. All right, well, we'll show it now. Um, so this gives me k equals one to infinity. Um, let's see, x to the derivative of x to the k is k, x to the k minus one, one over k, so that's gonna cancel. So I'm left with the summation k going from one to infinity of x to the k minus one. Notice that this is gonna be one plus x plus x squared plus dot dot dot. So I can write that a little differently as the summation k going from zero to infinity of x to the k. So that's just another way to write it. Either answer is correct. Nothing is wrong here. All right. And so I thought, what the heck? What's a good little, what's life without a fun little exercise, right? I mean, you guys love your fun little exercises. I hope, I hope you find them fun. So let's, uh, let's try it. So at this point, if you're watching the video, you should shut the video off and give it a shot. Now I'm actually gonna do a whole lot of good stuff with this one. I'm not only gonna do what I've been doing, but I'm actually gonna check the, the um, interval and radius of convergence and all that good stuff for you. All right, so um, how are series representation of x over one plus x squared? What? Okay, so we just showed that one over one minus x is the summation k going from zero to infinity of x to the k, right? That was the previous problem. So we can use that. So first of all, we can write one over one plus X squared is one over one minus a negative X squared. And so using this series, we can write that as a negative X squared to the K in our summation, which of course we can make a little nicer by writing negative one to the K X to the two K. And then X over one plus X squared is gonna be x times one over one plus x squared. So I'm gonna get x times the series, k okay, going from zero to infinity, negative one to the k, x to the two k. Of course, we can multiply that to the inside. So we get negative one to the k, x times x to the two k, or uh, that's going to give me negative one to the K X to the two K plus one. And so uh, now we've got that. All righty. Um, so I know that the integral of X over one plus X squared DX is going to be one half natural log of one plus X squared plus a constant, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so I could give myself a little bit of algebra going here. <clears throat> Multiply through by two and uh, solve for natural log of one plus X squared because that's what I wanna find the series of. So um, this guy is what I'm solving for. 
But anyway, let's do this a little quickly. So this is going to give me um, natural log of 1 plus x squared plus 2c is 2 integral x over 1 plus x squared dx. Um, 2 times c. Um, c is an integrating constant, but it's arbitrary, so I can just let that equal c again. And so finally, I have, oops, I do not, and then I'm going to, I, wow, I'm inarticulate right now. So I have natural log of 1 plus x squared plus c is going to be 2 times the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx and plug in the series. So I'm going to have 2 times the integral summation k going from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, x to the 2k plus 1 dx. And so the big deal here is that we can bring that integral to the inside. And when we do that, of course, we know how to integrate. We divide by k plus 1, add 1 to the power. And all is well with the world. Don't know if I have room to do everything I wanted to do. Um, but just for the kicks, uh, why am I having so much trouble with this? This is not rocket science here. At least for me, it shouldn't be rocket science. Uh, negative 1 to the k. x to the k plus uh, 2. I, I don't know why I said divide by 1. k plus 2. Wait, I dropped the two. Jeez. Sorry, that was a 2k plus one. So that's a 2k plus two. So that's a 2k plus two. That's a 2k plus one. Now you have all the comforts of being in, me being in front of you. Okay, so um, right now we can, and then we can put the two on the inside. So right now we have log of one plus x squared plus c is going to be the summation. K going from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, 2x to the 2k plus 2 over 2k plus 2, which we can do a little bit of algebra and write that as k going from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, x to the 2 times k plus 1. Um, you might notice that 2k plus 2 is equal to 2 times k plus 1. So my 2's cancel. Come on, red. So the 2 cancels. And so I'm left with k plus 1 here. OK, so now we have to figure out what c is. Well, we know that how is the question when x equals 0, what is log of 1 plus x squared is log of 1 plus 0 squared, which is log of 1, which is 0. So I'm going to get 0 is e 0 plus my constant. So 0 plus c is going to be equal to the summation k going from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, 0 to 2k, 2 times k plus 1 over k plus 1, which is 0. So that tells me my constant 0. And so I am actually done with the question. So that's the answer. Now we could also ask, um, well, you know, what is the actual interval of convergence? Well, I'm going to truly leave that as an exercise for you. But if we do the ratio test, you'll figure out that the limit as k goes to infinity of the absolute value of the k plus first term divided by the absolute value of the kth term is x, absolute value of x squared. And we need that, that's my r, 
we need r less than one for absolute convergence. So we need absolute value of x squared less than one or x between minus one and one. And then we would check convergence at x equals negative one. Um, and x equals one. And in both cases, uh, we do get convergence. Um, and so we get convergence for both. So the actual interval of convergence is going to be minus one, one, right? Negative one, less than or equal to X, less than or equal to one. Kind of interesting. Anyway, I think this is an excellent place for me to stop. And uh, in that sense, I will uh, wish everybody a good day. Stay well, stay